Hello, everyone. Uh, happy F35 release party to everyone. And if you have not yet upgraded to F35 or, you know, fresh installed it, if that's your thing, then what are you waiting for? I'm Akash Deep uh, I'm the objective lead uh, and a federal council objective representative for the federal websites and apps team. And I work with the Red Hat community platform engineering team. Onral, how about you go ahead and introduce yourself? Thank you. Uh, hello, everyone, and also welcome to the, our first day of the talk on the second day of the, our release party. My name is Onral. Uh, I'm working with uh, Federal Mindshare community and Federal TDA, and also I'm working Federal website and apps application teams as a member, as a developer. So I hope we will going to talk about all the objective teams and updates together today. So, Akash. Thanks, Anurag. Uh, we welcome you again to the Federal Websites and Apps Objective and Team Update Talk. Let's move on. Right, so here's who we are. The co-leads of this objective team are myself and Ramya Parimi. We are helped with Justin Flores and Mayne Norden's mentorship. Pavel Zelowski and a lot more other folks are helping with, with the program management. And we're actively supported by the Federal Design the community platform engineering team, as well as the Red Hat open source program office. There's a chart on the right side on the screen with tiny markers with all of the team members who are an integral part of the team. And the thing that you see at the very center is the Rock the Web badge, which is awarded to everyone who takes part in our team. And if it looks like something that you want to have, be sure to stay with us till the end because we'll be telling how to interact with the team and get uh, involved with what we do. And also, the other incentive is seeing your name on that graph. Let's move on. Right, so now that you know that who we are, let's grade that if you knew that already. This is the objective model that we started with. And uh, Unral could drop a link to the wiki page that you can find it and maybe take a closer look. Thanks, Unral. Let's move on. Right, so where do we head from? Because objective model was the starting point. We went back to a drawing board to come up with the approaches that keeps up with the ever-changing expectations from a team and the varying work styles that the team members have. While it's a work which is actively in progress, we, I mean, that includes Murray, Justin, Ramya, and myself, meet every after a couple of weeks to discuss and work on this. And here are the results that we were able to garner so far starting with the documentation, both contribution-based as well as uh, development-based documentation are actively worked on to address the needs of the contributors who would want to jump in and start contributing to the objective. Then we re-examined the big picture and we made sure that we keep our expectations right for the team and for the objective as a whole. We participated in the December cohort of Outreach 21 internship as a mentorship team, and we have four co-mentors, them being Michael Scherer, Francois Andrew, Unral Cesar, and yours truly, to acquire two interns who would assist us with the objective and the projects. And finally, we kicked off the Federal Websites revamp discussions with Pavel Zelowski's program management experience. So you can pretty much expect good things coming soon. Let's move on to the next slide. With the objective team actively introspecting the approaches and the engineering team continuously working on maintaining the sites that we already have and uh, reworking the projects that need to be reworked on, we came with one realization that the one goal that we set out with, the things that we agreed on to accomplish when the objective kicked off those months ago have more or less stayed the same. We still want to create and maintain websites that keep up with the modern technologies as well as they are user friendly, both in their look and feel with the involvement of easy navigation and logical arrangement of elements for prospective new contributors. We want to make it simple enough to locate the information that they're looking for in order to get started with contributing to the project. Once we are done with implementing all these things in the prominent websites, which have a better visibility, we would use that as a reference for other federal websites that help in providing other offerings such as pins, alternative downloads, etc. Then we would connect with all the offerings, like, like I mentioned, additions, pins, versions of Fedora Linux, 
and we'd make sure that these are uniformly visible and accessible. And it should not be like that, that a certain spin is left out just because it's not visible enough on our websites. Now I will pass it on to my friend here who will let you in on the things that we have been working on as a team. Unwal, over to you. Thank you so much. So I'm going to have to talk about the team updates we had, and this is how we our uh, magic and dreams is working on. So in this in this stage, we had some uh, strategies and approaches uh, based on our project, and of course, we would like to uh, talk about uh, how the things works and how the things has been done. So we, of course, developing a proof of concept as always, then if this is going to be a successful, we always go to the larger website and we always take some feedbacks from others. And we, of course, uh, get consult the stakeholders and get their feedback and ask them some of the questions to the, our users and contributors in the around the Fedora. And based on that, we discover some new possibilities, maybe their ideas and whoever, everyone's ideas, of course, will come and open. And based on that, we we'll improve our websites and our ideas as well. <clears throat> and uh, I would like to talk about uh, in this uh, in this <clears throat> event, which is going to be, of course, going to be focused on the federal websites. So we already work on the contribution documentation to better suit. And of course, we had some more documentation on Git and Podman section, what we did as well. And then uh, this is a little bit of a um, CI section and some other folks but knows better than me and, and I'm just trusting them, their information. And they, of course, build and deploy and CI testings and once the pull request happened on the website, which is amazing. Now we can test our website, each pull request and see what's going on or good or bad, which is nicer. And of course, addressing them, uh, it's also a nice feature that we have. Of course, we worked on our uh, system and our website interactive uh, stuff has been done. Also rephrasing uh, picture, changing the images and all those uh, other uh, backend and frontend works also has been done as well in our websites. <clears throat> Also, I would like to focus on that, which is one of our important pieces in Fedora, which is going to be easy fix. And we, we, we started uh, a while ago about revamping and changing the easy fix to make it much more nicer and modern to in our new uh, width, also uh, cooperate with our new logo to make it awesome. Of course, we made some discussion with uh, between websites team and also uh, Mindshare team, which is including myself in there. And then we talk about how do we make it uh, better and spread the world. And ba basically, we would like to discuss how is it going to be uh, useful for the, our contributors, which is we got some pretty amazing results based on that. And then we can we worked on that design very extensively. And based on that design, we have now better looks. And once we are finished and all things are ready, we're going to publish it. And hopefully, the our users going to be also newcomers and the contributors going to be definitely going to love it, hopefully. Uh, in the back end, uh, we did some uh, Python uh, changes, which is uh, just for make it easier on the deploy deployment. And that's very uh, important on a couple of cases like packaging uh, for something for Python in Fin Federal infrastructure. And then uh, in the website section, we add some a new API and of course getting our pictures with Libra Avatar and of course don't forget that also our cost information based on uh, what is required because uh, we want to make sure that person open the the fixes you know accessible from everywhere and then and we would like to discover the possibilities to do our contributors and newcomers as well so, so they can find that people slash person which is very important. Another thing is uh, we have meetings in around the Federal so many times as all, all so many folks around here already knows about it. And the people doesn't know Moat is our uh, basically uh, when we did a Federal meeting uh, in IRC or Matrix. Today, today is mostly they're holding in uh, Matrix slash IRC together because thanks to the bridge. And when the meetings happened, we recorded that meeting and publicly uh, share it into our more federal mode website, which is it's it's basically holding all the meetings and the discussions uh, we did uh, 
in, in Fedora and based on Fedora to topics. And also, uh, based on that changes, uh, we did some I'll, I'll extremely a lot of uh, UI changes and fast uh, search results and on the front end, which is uh, it's basically using a synchronous JavaScript changes and definitely a quicker search and faster indexing. Most of the work is done on the on the front end and the JavaScript section to make it uh, much more nicer. And maybe uh, after the uh, after the presentation, uh, Akash can maybe show you some quick demo behind it to in order to show how it looks like right now. Hopefully, uh, if he doesn't, you know, yeah, he is okay with that. So uh, then, uh, come to the backend section. Uh, we have, uh, of course, some same changes what we did for the previous one to make it, of course, much more compatible with our RPM packaging on Fedora and set up Python tools for easy deployment. And some quality of life fixes is not so much of changes on the backend because backend was still strong, but we want to make sure that uh, using some modern Python abilities to make it uh, much more flexible and nicer, but it's pretty much working at the same on the backend mostly, but on the front end and the JavaScript power, we did much more work on that section as well. And then other than that, uh, if you wanna, uh, join and getting involved. That's Akash's perspective. So I'm leaving to him too. Please. Thanks, Unrat. So uh, we'll be dropping links to the Matrix channel, which is based at IRC over here. Yeah, thanks for the links. Uh, you have pasted them all at once, which is great. So this is the channel that we usually have our conversations with. You'd find us most of the times, but you know, time zones. So uh, feel free to drop the links and we'll, uh, the messages and we'll reach out to you in a while. Then the repositories that we work on are the things that Unreal marked there as well. There's the mode repository that he has not, but here it goes. And uh, the documentation for the objective for better understanding what we do and the way that we do things is linked there as well as the mailing list if you want things to stay on record. So this is how you can get involved with us. And let me see if I have the upstream copy of mode uh, cloned to my remote uh, local directory. In the meanwhile, folks, please feel free to ask your questions if you have some in the Q&A tab. Unrad, there's a question about you taking over Fedora. Yeah, I, I was going to keep it for the last. Right, right. Hmm, that's a good question, David. Basically, we appreciate uh, contributions in all the sites, but uh, to be honest, the parts that need most contributions are the front end. We have infrastructure folks around us who would help us into deploying stuff or working on the back end, but in front end, we are kind of lacking. So uh, we try to make use of the defaults that uh, most CSS frameworks give us with and add a little fedorable touch to it, if you know what I'm saying. But that's pretty much what we can do. Also, Fedora Bootstrap is something that has not been yet uh, updated from 4.3.1. Uh, you know, that's the Bootstrap version it's based on. It would be great if we have someone uh, who is adept on front end to maybe work on Bootstrap 5.0 and amp it up to become a bit more fedorable. So yeah, front end, if you ask one area, which is requiring most contributions right now. Unra, please go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, uh, as you said as well, backend is uh, pretty much fine right now. Uh, we already get covered at most of the stuff. So most of the things we change is most of the time is just uh, front end changes to a for better for our users and contributors. So uh, that's a very important section. 
Okay, so Matthew asks, uh, when does the objective conclude? Uh, we set some uh, outcomes for the objective when we started off. And we uh, decided right now when we evaluated ourselves on the basis of the model that we created at that time, that a lot of it has been done. Well, a lot of it has not been even yet started. So uh, those outcomes can be one of the parameters with which we can evaluate ourselves. And then again, we have our bi-weekly meetings with Marie, Justin, Rami, and myself, where we evaluate on what the team is doing and is it actually going towards the goal that we want to head to. And also, uh, we can say that since the improvements are getting in track and getting getting to getting to be online soon, also we had the kickoff happens on the main website. So I think. Uh, we can say uh, it's going to be successful, hopefully. Mo this is what I believe mostly, because uh, we saw the progress, we saw the movement. Uh, but the, for the time, it's uh, sometimes depend on the contributor and you know person. But uh, I believe that after we did the big uh, chunk of the, our main website uh, and the side website as well, I think we can call that as a success as a at least for a stage one or just a complete job but it's definitely going to be successful which is from this perspective but i'm what i believe as well because i saw the changes honorable would you like to stop sharing a screen i'd share mine and that way i can share you know how yeah sure 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 sure. i'm stopping my share like appreciate mm -hmm. right please let me know if when the screen is visible for me too Yep. So, uh, fragment, it's just a synonym for mode. It's just upstream, the thing that we're working on. As soon as this becomes remotely stable, we're sure to push this towards the staging and we'll check on the changes. We'll make sure that the community gets a look on what exactly that we have been working on. But for now, what we try to work on is to make it as mobile first as possible. So, uh, you know, let me give an example. These are the meetings that are, uh, let me take an example of the most active meeting places, Fedora meeting, one, two, three. Yeah. I'll just take a random three, right? And this one, release engineering, right? So it's just the same plain old mode for the most part. So you would not feel alienated when you start using the new one, but with a few more quality of life changes, so suppose if I were to go to a, well, let me head back to the summary page. Geez, there has not been, oh, there is, right. So in the previous mode, you would not have seen something of this sort. It would take you to that place, but we added this little highlighting part. That, and when I reduced the width to something that a phone would have, this would occupy the entire width thus making it feel like as if it has been written, especially for a phone. The searching algorithms has been worked upon as well, which means that you would get your meetings, at least the ones that you're looking for, in a much faster way. Right. Let me open up a random meeting, just for an example, and there you go. I get the highlighting as well. Ah, I think that the uh, nav bar is something that we can work upon. Maybe add a few more stuff, but folks, please feel free to let us know in the chat section if there's something that you want us to implement over here. This is still uh, a work in progress. Uh, I might give some one idea. It's going to be a front end idea, but. <laughs> sure, go ahead. Uh, black tea for eyes. Oh, OK. Um, Sure. <laughs> um, we, we still need to get in touch with the design team. Yeah, yeah. Get yeah. them on board with this. But yeah, this is something that at, we at, at least, least for work not on. for the entire website, but at least for the the reading the logs. It yep. should be only that section could be dark. And yeah. um, I mean the entire website can stay, but when we look at the logs and the search, if there's become black, that will be nice because you know people doesn't like the so many shine things in their eyes. 
Exactly. And I, I just see from the chat, you're getting some supporting over here. Oh, Avi. Yeah, the, even 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 Franco said uh, uh, plus one for black team, so I'm not going to argue with him. <laughs> totally. <laughs> Idly finding the corresponding meeting this week message and replying after it's done. Oh yeah, I mean, we are working on a feature which involves web sockets, Matthew. So the way it works is it interacts with Fedora messaging, uh, and as soon as it gets to know uh, the event of finishing of a certain meeting from data normal data grepper, it immediately lets you know with the use of a toast message on the site. So you get to know that, yeah, this meeting has ended. And yeah, Francois, black team, I get a plus one from you. That means this is something that we would want to consider. Uh, Murray has a question. When do you think the team will have a capacity to work on the federal craft project? Mm, uh, I'll, take, some... I'll, I'll take this one. Sure, go ahead. Uh, I already uh, working on that behind the scene. Uh, I would like to show it after I get some certain point. But Mary, I need your help on some sections on the design perspective for abilities and search. But uh, my work on the front end and the back end is almost done. So we can start replacing the old one with the new one and creating new graphics for uh, small sections. Uh, around the other websites, if you want to use in anywhere you like to see, it. because I like I like to see that uh, moving graphs and uh, much more interactive uh, stuff on that too as well. Yes, Marie, I would love to do that as well. We need you. <laughs> Actually, I specifically need you. <laughs> Thank you so much. <clears throat> right. Let me stop sharing my screen. Luna has a question about. Uh... Uh, yeah, favorite meetings uh, and associating it with a certain account so that whenever they log in, they would be able to see the meetings that they're interested on. Mm, it's an interesting feature. We'll write it down somewhere and maybe think if uh, it is something that we'd want to implement. Oh, no, go ahead. Posting in the discuss is could be a nice uh, idea. I automatically, which is that's a possibility. I'm not going to go argue with that, but. Uh, uh, are we want to posting uh, the entire log, Matthew, or just uh, uh, like posting some summary? Cool. Okay, so because yeah, and that would be nice because we don't want to pay, paste so much information and it just makes a little bit uh, too much for overwhelming. So yeah, summary would be a nice idea. Yes, exactly, Nils. Uh, we'd hope that uh, I'll put a message first directly instead of data normal data grepper. Yeah, exactly. data normal data grepper is basically a static place to get uh, to know about things and querying about things that exist already. So yeah, makes sense. Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. Matthew. Exactly. I was thinking the same thing. Summary and the bottom line is going to be the full link for the log, of course. Take for instance, if we take a meeting from Fedora Classroom. And uh, yeah, so if we have this summary right here, it has a link to full logs. That's the reason why I did not even consider adding a full logs button, a dedicated one, to say the least, at the top, because, well, this gets the job done. OK, I think I'm going to sneak into the discussion API and log in and send some stuff and things over there, and we did with permission. <laughs> right. Matthew, if you have an access, please provide us. <laughs> Oh, what is that? I'll open up as a tab in uh, my browse and I'll take a look at it shortly. But yeah, talking about the question about my mustache, mm, you're not likely to see me without mustache like anytime soon. Because if you see me without mustache, then that's not me. That's that's just an imposter. Just grab hold out of that person and sh you know throw that person away. So if, you, so if you remove our mustaches, we're going to be uh, basically imposter in the game session, right? Maybe. Everything, everything is possible, guys. Yes. You would we like are to join among the... a session in like uh, an hour from now? In, right? in, no, two hours. There's a, the, there's some talks between us. But I would like to see everyone in that game session today because that's what we are here all, uh, all, uh, as well. Because we would like to have talks with our friends and have some fun, of course, in our nice little weekend. Be sure to have uh, Among Us installed on your devices. Even if you're not able to install it on Fedora, that's totally fine. 
it's freely available on Android as well as iOS. So uh, see you folks over there. Okay, so. Oh, um, Akash, we got the API key. <laughs> awesome. I'm getting, I'm gonna finish that then. Yep, All right, yep, so let me, let me do my uh, end, uh, ending as well to be, you know, uh, I, 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 I work on this Panda, you know, uh, for some individual ask for some Panda uh, and logo on the middle of it. So I did some work on it. Hopefully uh, she will approve. <laughs> so uh, for uh, I would like to say uh, thank you everyone uh, for their presences and of, I hope you'll enjoy our talks. And uh, <laughs> don't worry, Mary, you already understand what you meant. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. And if there is any other questions, we still have some couple more minutes. And other than that, uh, thank you so much. I hope you enjoy it in this uh, lovely meeting in the, in the weekend.